start, I'm going to show you the presentation so you can write a topic for today. That's the topic for today, the Midwest region. Write it on your notebook, remember to write the date and the topic in your social studies notebook. Now, if you remember <clears throat> in the previous class, we talked about that the five regions that United States has. Who can mention the five regions of the United States? Midwest. Midwest is one, that's right. Southwest. Southwest. Mm -hmm. West. The West. North. Northeast. North mm -hmm. Southwest. And Southwest, that's right. So you have the five regions of the United States and in the previous classes, we write some information about two, two, two regions. So this is the third one, the Midwest region. So this is the topic for today. And we have a, you don't have to draw this, do not draw. But this is, <clears throat> this is an example of the map. This is the, the example of the, the, the states. Yes, write the topic, write the topic, yes. Now, here we have the state that they're, they make the Midwest region. We have North Dakota, South, the South Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, Ohio. Ohio. Um, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Michigan, Ohio, yes, and Minnesota. All these states form the Midwest region like 12 states, they make the Midwest region. So as in the other, in the other regions, the other five regions of the United States, they contain different land forms, different uh, places. So the Midwest region also contains something attractive, something that uh, we know that it's uh, categorized the Midwest, the Midwest region. If you remember, when we talk about the previous regions, we talk about different land forts. We talk about for um, the mountains. We talk about the, what was the meaning of plain. So for today, for the Midwest region, remember this is a topic. We're going to talk about the, the Midwest region. It's, it has a flat, crazy plains and large areas of the forest. So you are going to copy everything, class. You are going to copy all this information in your app, all this information, because everything is important. Everything is important. So in the Midwest region, the place is flat and crazy, and it contains large area of the forest. Now, also there are some rolling hills, so just the Smoky Hills in Kansas. In Kansas, that is one of the states that is on the Midwest region. The Midwest is known as the American heartland. Why it's known as the America's heartland? Because it has the primary role in the nation's manufacturing and farming sector. So it means it's American's heartland because there is a lot of production there manufacturing, farming sector. So about the money, about the business that they make, the manufacturing and the farming sector produce uh, a lot of products in these places. So that's why it's considered one of the, it's as American Harlem, this region, Midwest, the Midwest region. Big rivers in this region, we can find big rivers, such as Mississippi in Ohio and Missouri that flow through all these regions. So the Mississippi River is the river that is well known in this region. It's the most attractive, well, a lot of uh, things that we can find there, but a lot of places, but this is the most attractive because it's a big one, a big river. It's the biggest one, the Mississippi River. So I'm going to give you five minutes to copy this information. What minutes? 
five minutes, five minutes to write all this information. Okay. Okay. A R that means west is no no as America's father. Oh, 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 oh. Three minutes, three minutes to finish. Three minutes, no me. So don't forget that the, the region that is known as the America's heartland in the United States is the Midwest, the Midwest, because of the economy, because of the production that it's there, the manufacturing. Farming. They can have different things, different activities to get money, to produce money, but the most important stuff uh, is the manufacturing department in this region. Mm -hmm. They can have different ways of transportation also. You have to copy the lid. Even though you're taking a screenshot, you have to copy that information. Yes, if you don't finish, this is a bandage. Remember that you can take a screenshot or also you can download this, this presentation on the school. You can watch the video. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's already there. Mm -hmm. Mississippi, yes, Mississippi in Ohio. I finished. continue copying. I finished. Okay, Danny, finish. I finished to me. I know you finished. Slow the not slow throw. So so these legends. Fresh in period. I finish the French Camila. Okay. Yes. Two minutes. Okay, Andrea, two minutes to finish class. Two minutes. One minute. I think it means yes. yeah. it significa manufacturing. In manufacturing. Manufacturing. Manufactura, that's in Spanish. Manufacturing. It's one way that people uh, produce and uh, the economy on in the region. There's manufacturing. That is the way that the most um the 
that they do in the Midwest manufacturing department to get money. Yes, in Spanish. In Spanish. Yes, in Spanish is manufactura. That's in Spanish, manufacturing. Ah, uh, okay. Es que my uncle Ty has a, a call in Portland. And mm -hmm. here is a cell phone of, of this, of this. And this the 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 cell phone. <clears throat> Armas, tell me. I finished the French. Finish the young. Who is missing? Who is missing to copy? Mikales, Mikales are in the, in the last one. The last one, Santiago Chavez, you haven't finished. Mm, oh. Fernando. Yara, did you finish? Yes. Spanish, okay, Rosa. Excellent, excellent. So don't don't forget the information that you are copying. Remember that you are writing some information, brief information for each of the regions of the United States. So do not get confused of the, the land force, the land force that you are writing for each of these regions. For example, in the Midwest, remember the land force that you are writing is the Mississippi, Mississippi River. It doesn't mean that it doesn't contain another, another land force. Yes, it has different land. Force. It can have rivers, it can have mountains, but the, the one that we're going to make emphasis today is about the Mississippi River. Okay, excellent. Also, it can have uh, another lakes, it can have valleys, it can have different land. But we're going to make emphasis on the Mississippi because it's one of it's the biggest rivers on the world. And remember this, do not forget this, that Midwest is the America's heartland because of the manufacturing, the farming, which things they can farm. Remember, they can farm different food, different um, corns, Different corns, it can they can produce so, so, soybean, they can produce soybean, different fruits, different fruits like cranberries, like cranberries, carrots, sweet potatoes, different things, different things they can produce in that region. That region. Yes. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Everybody finish the copy class. To finish to write it down. Yes. Gabriela, no, you haven't finished. I am in throw this. Where is the final? Oh, third days. Okay, you almost finished. Five seconds. Yes. I finished. Excellent. Let's go to the next slide. Here we have, do not copy this, do not copy this. We have some information about the Mississippi River that is the one that we're making emphasis. Look here, the Mississippi River, you see it here. This is the representation on the map. It throws all these states because it is the longest rivers in North America. It's the longest one in North America. As you can notice is it's um, rounds to all these states, all these states. There are 10 states. We count them, we can find that there are 10 states that the Mississippi River goes through. It ends in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the end here, the Gulf of Mexico. That's the end for that, for that, um, for the river here, the Gulf of Mexico, and it continues its path. Remember that this is a summary number five. 
the Midwest region. Now, let's continue here. Don't forget these facts. It's the longest river in North yes. America. It runs 10 states and it ends in the Gulf of Mexico. Tell me, Joshua. You have to copy this. No, you don't have to copy right now. You don't copy this. Here we have some pictures. Take a look of how it looks the, the Mississippi River. We have some pictures of the Mississippi River. How does it look? Wow. These are some pictures of the Mississippi River. And also we have some information, remember? That since it's one of the longest, it's the longest one in North America, we can compare, we can compare that Mississippi River with the other longest rivers in the world. In the world, we have these 10 longest rivers. The first one that you see here, that it's the length in kilometers, it's like 6,000, like it's almost 7,000 kilometers. It's the Nile. This river is the longest in the world. After that is the Amazon River. It's the second one. The Yangtze. Then is the Mississippi. So it means that the Mississippi River is the fourth, is the fourth one because it's like 6,000 kilometers of length or of this river. The world. But it's the biggest one in North America. Tell me, Kelly. Uh, I have two. Uh, mm -hmm. La first is Mississippi River is the Daniel River of the United States. It's what? The the biggest? No, the famous. Famoso. The famous. The yes. famous. Yes, it's the most famous because it's the yes. biggest one. It's the longest yeah. one. And the other is the the of the number. Mm -hmm. This of past one trillion is six and sixteen liters. Mm -hmm. Which one? Which river? All the all these rivers, all the first rivers in Mississippi City mm -hmm. are six sixteen. 6,300 kilometers. Yes, that's practically. Is that in the middle? Okay, yes, yeah, so it can be the 6,300. That's right, the kilometers for the Mississippi. Here it lives. Now, remember that the Nile, the number one, it's located, this river is located in Africa. Mississippi is located in the United States, in North America. Then we have another river here. Look at this one, yellow, the Panama, the Congo, and the other one. This, these rivers that you see here, the names down, they are the 10 longest rivers in, in the world. They are the 10 longest. But in the America, in the United States of America, is the Mississippi River. It runs the 10 states. Now, we're going to watch a video about this video about this, this river. So please pay attention to the information that is displayed and all that on this video. Let me share the sound so you can listen to okay, the video. Comments about the video. Okay, okay. Comments about the video. What is playing? Um, it's the river. Mm hmm. That means your river. Mm -hmm. Very sweet. Okay, that yes. It mentions, it mentions that the Missouri River, that's right, Camila. What it says about the Missouri River, it mentions that three rivers connect to the Mississippi River, right? Missouri River was one. Of Ohio River. Ohio River is a north one, that's right. That's right, the Ohio River. And all of them connect to the Mississippi River. How many states does the Mississippi River run through? How many states, class? Ten. Ten, that's right. Ten, Ten states. Ten. And where does it end? Remember that it runs 10 states, but it ends in the Gulf of Mexico. 
the Gulf of Mexico, it finished the path for this river, right? In the Gulf of Mexico. Now, mention, mention three facts about the Mississippi River. Which, which things we can say about the Mississippi River, class? That's covered 10 states. It runs 10 states, that's right. What else we can say? Mm -hmm. And it's so big. It's the biggest one in um in North America. That's right. It's the biggest one. And what else? Compared with the other uh other rivers in the world, what is the positions of the Mississippi River? Is the first one on the war or no? No. No. It's the fourth one. That's right, Andrea. It's the number four. So we can say these three facts about the Mississippi River. Excellent. What else we can say, class? What else we can say? Does that? Yes. Okay, class, that's great. That's great. Remember, Mississippi River, just as a review, remember the Mississippi River, it ends in the Gulf of Mexico here. We have the picture and also in the video, it was displayed that. It was displayed that it runs the 10 states and in North America. Okay, questions about this topic, class? Questions? No. No questions. Don't get confused. The information for each of the regions that we're talking about. Please. Tell me something. The one, two, three. The one, two, three. I have no, copied out the numbers. You copy that? Yes. You want to copy that? No, okay, I'm going to display copy. here. No, you want to copy your copy? Please, I don't finish to copy. You don't finish to copy. Okay. No. Let me display this. Please, I don't copy. One, two, and three. No, me. That's yes. That's one. Okay, no, copy this. The not. Mississippi River facts. One, two, three. This is going to be the, the same look, but at the end. Once I've finished, just show me your notebook and then you can best copy these three facts about the Mississippi River, please. Fernando, you finished to copy that? Yes? Okay, excellent. You can disconnect. See you next class. Bye bye. Bye.